Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com. We are learning about machine learning using BLE Sense 33. All right, guys. So in the last couple of lessons, I showed you how to install all those packages, the libraries, important libraries, which we will be using time and again in the upcoming uh, lessons. I hope you guys are ready with all those libraries. In this lesson, I will show you some sample examples in terms of in order to check if those libraries are working perfectly or not. So guys, we are actually going to test each and every sensor, the inbuilt sensor, which is inside 33 BLE using those libraries and the sample programs. We are going to test if it is really working right so that we are absolutely prepared to write some complex codes in the future lessons and build some uh, projects. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to switch over to my IDE and uh, there we go. All right. So what we need to do first, let's go to file. Okay. Make sure you are connected to your BLE guys. Uh, it's very important. You are connected to your USB. Go to file and then go to examples. Okay. Let me repeat again. Go to file go to examples and below the example you can see come down you can see arduino the first one here arduino apds 9960 all right if you go there there are one two three four four sub examples for that particular one sensor so let's take a look at the first one the color sensor all right it's going to open up a new window and I'm going to close the previous one. All right. Now what we need to do the color sensor. OK, so this is the sample code. So which is going to detect the colors and uh, which is going to, you know, show up in the serial monitor. All right. So what we need to do, go to tools again. Once you open that program, go to board. In board, you need to go to Arduino embed OS boards, embed OS boards. In that, you need to select Arduino 33 BLE. That is your board. Okay. And again, go to again, go to tools, go to COM port, select your COM port. Now my COM port is 18 for you. It might be two or three or one or, you know, five whichever the com port it shows you need to select that the tick mark you, you need to see this tick mark okay select that and then upload the code you don't have to compile you don't have to verify it you can directly upload it let's click it takes couple of seconds actually to upload and some of these examples are pretty uh, you know uh, low kilobytes so it's taking a while it should upload now it's saying compiling sketch it doesn't show any error so that's a good sense it's still compiling compiling let's give it a minute till it compiles it takes time guys of course it's a very small board it, it's not a powerful processor you know it's not a single board computer end of the day it's a microcontroller but it's got a lot of power in terms of you know the sensors and feeds and stuff like that it's a arm 32-bit uh, uh, architecture so it's pretty good all right you may go through this code guys i mean uh, if you understand c c plus plus you may also go to my uh, other uh, series where uh, I did multiple tutorial uh, lessons on programming an Arduino board using Mega. So you can learn about the C program in that series. You can go learn from there. You can come back and understand these sample codes. It will be easy for you. It's taking time compiling sketch. Let's give it a minute. It's kind of abnormal. Generally, it shouldn't take time. Maybe that's because I have connected to an external USB wire. Can you see that? At my BLE, first of all, the BLE has got a very lengthy USB cable. On top of that, I connected to another lengthy, long, lengthy cable here. So maybe, I don't know. 
ఐ మెట్ బి రాంగ్ ఓ ఆ రైట్ దర్ యూ గో డన్ అప్లోడింగ్ డన్ 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 ఇన్ త్రీ పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ నైన్ జీరో సెకండ్స్ ఆ రైట్ సో ఐ డోంట్ సీ ఎనీ బ్లింక్ ఆర్ ఎనీథింగ్ బట్ లెట్స్ రన్ ద టర్మినల్ సో టు ఓపెన్ ద టర్మినల్ యూ నీడ్ టు గో టు ద రైట్ హ్యాండ్ కార్నర్ కెన్ యూ సీ సీరియల్ మానిటర్ యూ కెన్ సీ ఎ లెన్స్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ సింబల్ ఇయర్ ఆన్ ద రైట్ హ్యాండ్ సైడ్ జస్ట్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ ద లెన్స్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ సింబల్ ఓప్స్ ఓకే సో ఇట్ సేస్ బోర్డ్ కామ్ నైన్ ఇస్ నాట్ అవైలబుల్ ఆ రైట్ గైస్ సో వన్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ what i noticed during my r&d research and uh, you know trial and error what i found in this particular board is when you upload the program it successfully uploaded your com port gets disconnected without even showing any error by by you know i don't know whether it's a bug or or the, the way it's been designed so every time you upload a code and once it successfully uploaded if you want to open the terminal make sure to connect your com port again so go to tools go to port and see my com port is changed to com 8 now i am going to connect now i will run the serial port wow there you go rgb 186 can you see that guys let me just uh, you know put my hand to detect some different color so the value should change maybe i'll show my cell phone red all uh, right there are some values which is getting changed rgb the values are okay 189 can you see the values is going up let me show towards my floor the green maybe my shirt okay black it's different 788 all right so it's it's working it's working perfect so this particular color sensor seems to be working let me now close it now let's look into another example go to file go to examples again and then go to apds 9960 now let's look at full example full example i'll make it bigger all right i will close the previous window let this be open i'll connect to the port again you need to connect to the board and the port every time you do it guys okay embed os boards all right so there are two embed os we downloaded right do you remember guys in our second or third lesson second second lesson i guess so you can use both actually you can select any one of them it's 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 not a problem so let's select the second one embed arduino embed arduino embed os nano boards and i will select nano ble all right now let me select the com port com port is 8 let me upload this sketch this is a full example okay so it's mentioned here this example reads all data from the onboard apds 9960 sensor of ble the color rgb the proximity and gesture and prints updates to the serial monitor every 100 milliseconds all right that's pretty good so it's going to detect the proximity and gesture along with the color rgb that that's pretty good so this is a full example as far as your sensors the inbuilt sensors are working fine with this codes you are all set guys it's very important we do the testing and run the sample programs and make sure that our 33 ble bed is absolutely ready compiling sketch so can you see as soon as we uh, hash include uh, arduino library the color should change it, it's the same way like how we do in python or micro python import library from import from this x library and do this you know that's exactly the way in c++ it works but in a different syntax and kind of thing so once you understand c c++ very well learning python or java or any programming language is very easy all right guys so uploading done it's done uploading 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 okay all right done <clears throat> so before we open the terminal the monitor serial monitor i am going to connect to the com port again and you need to do that let me connect to com port and let me click the serial monitor wow man this is amazing 
let me just okay there you go if i change the direction can you see guys the pr uh, the proximity values how it is changing and along with the rgb that's fantastic that's cool that's great <coughs> if i show it towards top the light intensity is more because i am sitting just below the light can you see the value oh my god okay i am showing towards the screen and now down towards my table towards my keyboard towards my shirt and again i am showing upwards can you see the values all right so there are a lot of meanings for this values guys in the future lesson as we start building some projects i am going to talk about what is this rgb value which goes to the maximum of 255 from 0 to 255 how the rgb works uh, it, it's a similar thing what uh, the kind of lessons which i took in jetson nano open cv uh, the vision intelligence on jetson nano where the rgb colors which is actually bgr in open cv the way the formulas works it's almost the same thing here right i'm going to explain this in the future lessons when we start building the projects all right for now let's close this this sensor is working perfect let's open another one example let me go down gesture sensor all right we saw the full example let's take a look at the gesture let me close the previous sketch the full example <coughs> okay now let me connect to my com port board 8 com port 8 and the ble i'm going to connect 33 let me upload the sketch once we upload it's going to take some time let's read what's what's it on this example reads gesture data from the onboard apds 9960 sensor of 33b and prints any detected gestures to the serial monitor that's fantastic okay so the gesture direction sorry right guys this is very important so gesture direction read this so it's written up from usb connector upwards that is like a an antenna or right, a down from the antenna towards the usb connector like this all right left the analog pins side towards digital pins okay let's give it right All right, let's check it out. Compiling sketch. This looks interesting. The gesture direction, up, down, left, and right. So you can imagine the kind of robotics project you can build, guys. All right, done uploading. I am getting excited now. Let's run this through. Done uploading. Now let me connect to the COM port again. COM port eight, and run the serial monitor. Detecting gestures, but nothing is happening. Let me show like this. Up. that's what it said right down there's nothing is happening okay maybe we need to show our hand i don't see anything happening okay down detected down gesture detected right gesture right left up okay now i got it the way the sensor works so you you need to keep it like this guys like this okay like this and do this detected up detected down and then we need to keep it like this that is towards the left and right left right fantastic perfect so this is a great device i mean this this particular uh, sensing movement is going to help us a lot in building just imagine you know we are going to build a robot with this all right guys so this sensor works perfect let's go to another one let's go to okay i think we are done with this we, same way you can do it for proximity it's pretty simple let's look at hts 221 reach sensor okay it's 
HTS read sensor. Let me just expand this and let me close the previous one gesture sensor. Okay, now select the board, go to tools, go to boards. You can either go to embed OS boards or embed OS nano boards, either of that. And then again tools, comport, I am on comport 8. I am going to upload. Okay, so let's read through while uploading. This example reads data from onboard HTS sensor or the nano BLE and prints the temperature and humidity sensor values to the serial monitor once a second. That's really great. So we are going to read the temperature and the humidity. All right. So the value which you are going to see on the screen is basically the temperature which I am sitting here in my room and the humidity level. So let's check it out. Let's give it a minute. It's still uploading. The sketch is compiling. Hash include Arduino underscore HTS 221.h. Okay. It's a pretty simple code. Uploading uploading that's good so there is no error so far it's uploading okay fantastic now let's go to tools again and connect the board can you see the board got disconnected so let me connect it again and then i'm going to open the serial monitor there you go temperature 30.63 humidity 30.63 okay this is perfect let me see if I keep it close and if, if the humidity changes. Okay, there's a change in the humidity, but temperature remains the same. Okay, perfect guys. All right, so this sensor seems to be working perfect. So far, so good. We are going really good. Let me go to another example, go to file, example, and go to HTS. I think sensor imperial is fine. You can test it yourself. Let's go to the next one. Read pressure. Same way you can read the pressure guys. Let's check uh, accelerometer. This is very important. Simple accelerometer and gyroscope. Okay. Let's let me close the previous one. Go to tools. Go to the board. Arduino Nano 33 BLE <clears throat> and then go to tools again. I'm connecting to COM8 and then upload the code. I'm uploading the code. In the meantime, let's see the description what it says. So this example reads the acceleration values from this particular sensor and continuously prints them to the serial monitor or a serial plotter. Okay, great. Fantastic. Guys, this is a very important sensor, right? So uh, accelerometer and uh, any of uh, the gyro meters and stuff like that. These are pretty important sensors for robotics. Now, interestingly, if you see the circuit, what it is written, Arduino UNO Wi-Fi version 2 or Nano 33 IoT, but it's not mentioned as BLE Sense. Let's anyways, let's take a look. I think the compilation should be common for both the boards, Nano 33 IoT and BLE Sense, because the architecture is same, right? So it should work. All right, uploading, 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 uploading. There you go. Done in four point six five seconds. All right, something weird that is. It cannot be four point six five seconds. Anyways, let's give a try. I'm going to connect my port again. Can you see the port got disconnected? So you got to do this every time. Connecting to port. Open the terminal. Fail to initialize IMU. Okay. So nothing is happening. Fail to initialize IMU. Why is that? Okay, now let's look at the code. 
okay importing the library hash include and then while into the loop serial begin serial print ln okay while one okay when the imu starts after this after it's after it prints fail to initialize accumulator sample rate okay accumulator sample rate hurts it should work why it is not it just says it's fail now it is not showing even that let's check another example within the same sensor and see what it says example i am going to gyroscope let's go to gyroscope okay tools board i can select either embed os boards or embed os nano boards and go to nano 33 ble okay then go to tools again and the com port 8 let me upload this while uploading let's read what it says sensor and continuous prints them to the serial monitor or a serial plotter okay it's the gyroscope value let's see let's look at the code serial print okay it's the same code but the library is different so sometimes what happens is guys you know uh, after you install your libraries we have to reboot uh, the system or we we have to we got to reboot uh, the arduino ide or sometimes you might uh, might have to restart the system itself it happens you know you never know the, the way system works so maybe if it doesn't work again we'll have to reboot and see what happens compiling sketch uploading all right done it's 79% 100% all right there you go done uploading now let me connect to the serial monitor sorry the com port connected now let me open the serial monitor on the right hand side the lens kind of mark okay i don't see anything at all that's kind of weird and there is no error that's the funny part let's check the baud rate <coughs> baud rate is 9600 so it should maybe let's check a different board arduino avr let me check with arduino embed os boards let me check 33 ble okay let me upload this code again it's uploading looks like we may need to reboot the machine reboot our windows uh, system and the ide as well if it doesn't work it's abnormally slow it's kind of weird maybe it's probably because of my usb cable i don't know i have to just try it out compiling okay uploading now it's uploading done uploading okay now let me connect to the com port it's connected let me open up the serial monitor fail to initialize let me press the reset button no nothing is happening okay looks like this will require a reset or re boot the machine let's take a look at other examples in the meanwhile i will troubleshoot what is wrong with this particular example and i will come back to you with the next video guys 
we will take a look at a simple accelerometer let's take a look at it let's take a look at this example i will close the previous one go to tools ble board and then i'll go to tools again i will select the com port and upload now let's read what is written this example reads the acceleration value from lsm sensor and continuously prints them to the serial monitor okay that's good the accelerometer plays a major role in robotics uh, applications guys okay so the acceleration is calculated in g's compiling sketch in case even if you guys are facing this problem compiling the sketch if it is taking too much time do let me know just leave a message guys i i, I would be interested to know what's happening with you folks uploading all right upload done let me go to tools let me connect the port can you see the port is being disconnected so let me connect again and let me open the serial monitor okay fantastic so the acceleration seems to be working wow wow okay so this looks perfect perfect all right so this seems to be working all right guys so what i will do guys i i will test the previous sensor which was not working i will just do some r and d and try to troubleshoot and uh, i will i will come back to you in the next lesson i'll show you how once i fix it continuation to the next lesson i will just show it to you very short how to fix it and kind of thing most likely this might require just a reboot of arduino ide and our reboot of the machine so nothing else all right guys see you soon and uh, i am going to be back soon in the next lesson pretty quick Goodbye